We need to mount a scope on our Daniel Defense 308, or the DD5, to go out and do some uh, some uh, some hog hunting soon. So we might as well put it on video. We got our Warren mount here. We use a lot of these. They are a good option. They're solid for the price. You, they, they do great work. Um, so we're gonna do this real fast here. Mount it on here. This part, once you have this mounted and level, you can move it forward and backwards. So I'm not gonna tighten that down yet. Take that off. Boop. Movie Magic did that earlier. Try to move quickly because they got the short attention spans and whatnot. Okay, that's off. That's off. That's on. Boom. This is what I like to do. Get on there. Get comfortable. Open your eye. Can I see? Did I have to move my head? I did have to move my head. So let's move this back a little bit. Get comfortable. Good there. Okay. Now I got my distance in a good spot. Put this on. Boop. This on. Boop. Like I said, this is how I do it. There's other ways. This is just the way I like to do it. We're going to take now this right here, move this over here so we get a good angle. I take this, put a little tension on the ring. So as it's going in, I can make sure that I'm holding this level because you want to make sure it's really important that your side to side is level as well. You want even spacing all the way down so that you know that the tension's right, if you're not squeezing the tube in a weird way, all that good stuff, it's just better. better. As you notice, I'm doing a little crisscross pattern. So I'm going from one side to the other. And I'll, do the, I'll, I'll display that a little better here once I get my, my big old hand out of the way. Scroll that down, okay. Now you see I'm doing this, going here, then here. And I'm not gonna tighten this down the way, I'm making sure I can still move this. Same thing here. Here. Go to the other side, opposite corner, back over. And the reason I'm just doing this is to make sure it's even all the way down. Once again, a lot of ways to do this. This is just how we do it. Opposite corner, taking that down. This is where those bubble levels come into play. I'm going to take this one, pop it on up front here. Got this on Amazon. A little Picatinny rail mounted. I think it paid $40 for it. Great setup. Works really well. That's on there. This goes on top, a little magnet on there, so it pops on there. So this is where we make sure this, this is called your bubble, make sure your bubble is plumb. You don't want your bubble off plumb, as they say. Now make this one match on the scope by turning it. That's why I left that slack in there. They both match up. We'll make a little bit more adjustments here. Okay, now we're gonna go back up top here. This is where this torque part comes, in, comes into play. So there are other options for torque. This is the kind of the uni one. You get in here real quick, you see this goes all the way down. This kind of moves, it has all of them. So we'll scoot this in here. Make sure that's facing you guys. Gonna take, oops. Take that. Get it out one more time. See how we're doing it? Going, make sure we're going around. Not up to all the way out of camera here, but right there between 15 to 20 for your rings. And then for the base mounts down here, go ahead and do that. We're gonna go all the way up to We're gonna go to 45 to 50 on the base mounts. Look at your manufacturer specs. Some of them might tell you to go up more or down more. And that is how you mount a scope. Keep watching and see what we do with this little fella coming up pretty soon too. We're gonna to have a lot of fun with this one. But like always, follow us, AccuFire Tech. Come find us, ask us questions, all the socials, AccuFire Tech. Thanks, talk to y'all later. Bye.